Hello makers and welcome to another studio vlog. My name is Joanna and this is Stitching the High Notes, a YouTube channel and growing online business encouraging you to stitch creativity and joy or the high notes into your everyday life. I hope you all are doing well, that you've had a great week. I am doing well. It's actually Monday. I'm vlogging a little bit earlier than I usually do during the week for a couple of reasons. One is that I had to sit down and chat with you about this beautiful package that I just received. Oh my gosh. So the cross stitch project is one of mine. It's one of my old, old projects that I finished about a year and a half, almost two years ago. It's Forest by Satsuma Street. If you're a long time viewer, welcome, by the way, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Um, but if you're a long time viewer, I think even in the first episode, I showed this pattern and, that I was working on as a whip. And so I've been longing to get it properly framed for a while and I could think of no one better than my dear friend Paige of Frame and Fiber in New Jersey. She is a master and just absolutely amazing. So I am so, so grateful. She actually interviewed me a few months ago and it'll be up on YouTube, I believe on October 3rd. So keep an eye out on her channel, which I'll link down below. And she should be showing a little bit of how she, the process of framing the piece, including stretching out and, and preparing the project, which I sent to her in horrible condition and totally creased. <laughs> But it was so much fun and in the video we pick out the frame together and it just, I'm so excited to see it and I'm just still kind of absorbing the fact that I have this FFO, I actually have an FFO, finally finished object in my midst and it's going to go on my wall. I'm actually going to rehang it from where I just hung it up. Um, it's going to go a little bit lower and I'm going to put the proper like hooks on the back which she provided. I mean, the quality of the framing is amazing. It's museum archival glass. Um, you can't even tell that it's glass. Like it looks like you could just reach out and touch the piece. It's amazing and there's no glare and I love the frame. So I'll leave it there to encourage you to check out uh, the video when it comes out and I'll be sure to let you know as well. But yeah what a great start to the week <laughs> i knew it was on its way but i didn't i didn't know when it was going to arrive and i opened up my door this morning and went oh what is that I'm so exciting um but yeah the, it's monday and it's um also i'm filming a little bit earlier and chatting with you all a little bit earlier than usual because i'm going to be out a lot of the week um working from my family's home up until the weekend um, and I'm going to be visiting them to celebrate my birthday, which is on Thursday and I'm turning the big four, oh, 40. So I am really looking forward to it. I'm very much prepared. I feel like I've been preparing for a year to be 40. <laughs> I'm really, I'm excited about this next decade. There's a, there's a feeling of, of being settled that I didn't have in my thirties and, um, more confidence. And that's something I've been working on anyway, but, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. There's kind of, I don't know how else to say it, but you stop caring as much, so to speak, uh, about what others think of you. You have more confidence in who you are, the wisdom that you've gained over the years. And, um, you start having, more of an idea of what you can bring and be of service uh to the world what you can what you can bring to everybody so anyway i'm rambling i need to have some lunch <laughs> it is the afternoon um so i have a couple of days here still i'm going to be leaving wednesday mid-morning and I have a lot to do. I have um, some bags that I need to get back to work on, the lovely pre-orders that you all 
uh, purchased. Thank you all again so much. There's still a few bags in the shop if you're interested. Those will be going out on Wednesday the 23rd, so I want to get those to a certain spot if possible before I leave. Um, mainly just getting all the little tiny bits uh, done, get the interfacing on, all of the handles sewn, all of the drawstring channels, all of the box bottoms cut, all the little things so then I can just do streamline process of sewing when I get back or continued sewing when I get back. And um, yeah, I need to package up some orders that were not bags um, that need to go out today as well as some prizes for the summer garment mail that I just announced um, over the weekend over on the Ravelry group and a few other little kind of things and then of course knitting here and there as I can. I did a lot of knitting this weekend on my peacock shawl by Emily Walton um, through Expression Fiber Arts. Let me go grab it. Hold on. It's grown quite a bit. I'm gonna say that every time I see you probably because this thing, it's still in the like, you can really tell it's growing phase because the rows aren't as long or take as long yet, but they're starting to get there because you're increasing. But this is where I'm at. So it's probably about almost double in size from where I was a couple of weeks, a couple of vlogs ago. And then I did move my stitch marker already after I stopped chatting with you all on Saturday. Uh, so that's where I was last time you all saw it, last vlog. And then I've done this all this weekend. And this little stitch marker here is indicating where in the pattern it initially says for you to switch to color B or your second color. But I'm going to be going a little bit longer with this color because I'm using four colors instead of six. And here's an idea of how much of the skein I've done. So this is Hocus Pocus themed yarn by Legacy Fiber Arts. And again, I'll have all the details down below. This, and this is like what a what it used to look like size-wise. So it's about a 435 yard skein. And yeah, I think I'm gonna do, I don't know. I have to figure it out. I think I'm gonna do I need to weigh it. Um, initially, my gut is saying like 25 grams or 30 grams left. So I'm getting pretty close. I need to look and see. And um, then I'm gonna switch to actually this color, which is Mary. And then it'll be, I'll just give you a little preview. It'll be this color. So I'll have all the Sanderson sisters. And this is going from neck down. And then what I think I'm gonna do is it won't be as much of the yarn used but this is spell book and this is what I'll do as the border um, so I think I'll use the same amount of yarn for the Sanderson sister skeins and then for this is when I will switch to when the pattern says you need to do your sixth color or kind of the border area and I think that'll look really lovely kind of just kind of framing um, all of the other colors and I'll add like a weight and dimension to the piece so that's where I'm at with that and then I am going to wind up probably tomorrow maybe today we'll see where I'm at with everything but I'm gonna wind up that skein that we chose together last vlog and that is a once upon a corgi skein in her because pumpkin spice colorway which i don't know if she dies anymore this skein is from my deep stash from 2016 and i'm gonna cast on just a vanilla pair of socks so i have some tv knitting um slash knitting whenever my nephew is around because my nephew will be with us um this weekend um although there's not much knitting with him these days he wants to play and play hide and seek and i just can't say no but I'll be taking you along with me when I head up, but it'll probably just be little snippets here and there. Um, there's gonna be some things that I'm gonna be building and doing for them. I'm gonna be making a playhouse, which hopefully the smoke will have cleared a little bit more. We're supposed to get a shift in winds. Um, so I think, I think I'll be able to put it outside, we'll see. Um, but yeah, anyway, I need to get back to it and I'll chat with you all here in a little bit.
good early evening. I am winding down for the day. And before I kind of get into my evening pajamas instead of my day pajamas, which is what I basically wear every day now, <laughs> I wanted to share something really random and funny, at least to me, and I think probably to some of you as well. In the evenings, I like to watch sometimes if my mind just won't quiet down and all of my other kind of remedies don't help like tea and trying not to watch TV and stuff is I watch uh, ASMR videos. ASMR, and I had to look it up what it means. It means Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. And it's the little tingly feeling that some people get, not everybody gets it, but maybe you do. When there's somebody who's soft-spoken, when um, there could be different triggers for it. It could be like tapping on something, the sound of rain on windows, just that feeling that your nervous system gets kind of this tingly, relaxing feeling. And it probably, it, if I read further into it, it probably induces some like, like um, chemical, you know, changes in your body to help you kind of calm down and relax. So I definitely get the response. I have have ASMR, <laughs> experience ASMR. And uh, so I watch a lot of videos. I'll put links down below to some of my favorites if you are interested. But last night, so YouTube knows this and it will recommend certain videos based on when you watch certain types of videos. So uh, in the evenings, it often will recommend different types of ASMR videos. And... Um, so last night, so, so it's the worlds collided and it recommended this video. It was like some channel that I hadn't really ever seen before and it's called ASMR Loop. I think it's like ASMR Loops is the name of the channel. I think they basically record other content, which is not kosher, but so I don't really recommend this channel, but it, this video was really funny. And it's called Queen of Unintentional ASMR Cross Stitch Tutorial. I was intrigued. I saw the thumbnail and I was like, I know that lady. I've watched some of her tutorials. It's Jane Greenoff. I don't know if you've heard of her. She's a well-known teacher and publisher of books about cross stitch. And she is very soothing. And this particular video, there's a lot of white noise in the background. She's very soft-spoken, very focused. I could not stop watching it. I was up late watching a loop of this woman's tutorial, cross-stitch tutorial. And I learned so much. It reinforced some things that I forgot, like different ways to loop your thread. That how well here's the doozy how to measure your fabric to check what count it is. Do you remember how I keep saying like for my fall stitching project playing with jacks? It's from a grab bag. I don't know what count it is. I'll figure out how to do it someday. Well, now I know how you just it's just like doing a gauge swatch uh, for knitting. Like you just count the squares per inch. That's how many the count is. So. <laughs> Lo and behold, an ASMR video recommendation taught me how to do all this cross-stitch stuff again, and it relaxed me, and I went to sleep after I stopped watching it on a loop. But I will leave a link down to this video down below. It is amazing, and it's also hilarious, some of the stuff she said. Oh, and the kicker is the comments for the most part, you always get some trolls in there, but for the most part, the comments are amazing. They're like, here are some highlights here. She wrote 22 books about cross-stitch intense. <laughs> so it's people outside of our world. So it's really funny. Came here to sleep, but ended up listening because it was interesting. Uh, let's see. What was something? There was a really funny one. Is anyone else heading out to buy cross-stitching equipment tomorrow? <laughs> I really wanted to know why I should use a gold-plated threader. I guess she mentioned it, but she didn't show it or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. So anyway, random video inspiration for you down there <laughs> in the description below. <laughs>
Hello and good afternoon. It is Tuesday and it's about 1230. It's a little bit later. Uh, I had a pretty packed morning of just really focused work that I wanted to take advantage of being so focused, uh, doing things for work. And I had a couple of meetings already. And I also did a few things for stitching the high notes as well, including uh, reorganizing my website just a little bit um, so that it's just not every single product on the home page so that you really can utilize um, like the slideshow switching it up and highlighting certain certain items and then you can use the menu function to get to the type of bag that you want to have I think with the introduction of new bags it just added that much more product to the front page so uh, just need a little bit of switching around, but it's always a rabbit hole for me because I love working on websites. I love web design. I love video editing, all of that stuff, kind of the marketing side. I love just about as equally as making the products themselves. <laughs> so I always have to really make sure that I'm carving out certain amounts of time and then I have to kind of stop and do time blocking as they say. So yeah, I might have gone a little bit over the said time block today because I was like, oh, look at this function. Look at this. I could do this. I wonder if I could code and do this. And anyway, nerd alert. <laughs> but I'm going to have a little bit of lunch, take some time away from the screens. Oh, enjoy the birds, which are starting to show up again outside. I'll show you a little view here. It's looking bluer and bluer. The smoke is starting to clear it's not quite at a good quality of air uh aqi uh, air quality index for me to open up my windows yet but i'm hopeful soon i will be able to of course i will be going up to sacramento where it's a little bit worse um it ebbs and flows so we'll see how it is up there but yeah so i'm gonna take a little bit of a break and then get back to work and also some more sewing as well making progress i have to say it is so lovely to have a vanilla sock back on the needles it's been several months i think it just was not something i particularly wanted to do and it just feels so relaxing i'm sitting here watching tv for the most part not looking at my knitting and it'll be even more so once i finish increasing the toe and am knitting in the round and it's just absolutely delightful i feel my shoulders going down <laughs> and i'm breathing easier and i think i'm realizing 
my anxiety has been really bad the last few days. I'm not realizing I'm accepting. I've definitely been realizing it, but I'm accepting that it's the case and it's not anything I can control. It's just how things are right now. It'll ebb and flow. And I am just so grateful. This will be part of my daily gratitude post over on Instagram. I am so grateful for simple knitting to quiet the mind to slow down your rhythm so so grateful i'm going to continue this and chill for the rest of the evening so i will see you in the morning The best sound in the world, the sound of birds in the morning, air kind of flowing through, and the little waterfall outside. Oh, so happy to have my windows open again. The air quality is categorized as good. It's down in the 30s, which is closer to normal. After being above 175, for Lord knows how long. <laughs> so I'm just the happiest camper today. I'm so, so happy. There's still a little bit of a slight smell of smoke, but it's not nearly as bad as it has been. So feeling very hopeful this morning and continuing to think of everybody who's in the depth of it up north so and down south as well. So yeah, good morning. <laughs> it is a good morning. It's Wednesday and I am getting ready in about half an hour to do a Zoom stitch and chat with my Patreon patrons and I'm looking forward to catching up with them. I want to get their opinion. I've got my little scale over there about uh, my thinking of switching the colors on my peacock shawl. So I'm going to do that and I made a lot of progress on my sock. Let me get it. I need a sip of coffee first. All right. So here we go. I've got it in this Once Upon a Corgi bag. She used to make bags way back in the day, Gabby. Um, I don't know when the last time she did, but I loved this fabric. I might've gotten it when I purchased the skein of yarn, so we'll see, but, but yeah, oh my goodness. It turned, it's micro striping, which I love, and it's perfect for a vanilla sock, I feel. So you get a little bit, it might pull a little bit because that stripe right there is a little bit bigger, but we'll see. I love it. So I'm already done with the toe. I finished it last night and I've got probably about three, two or three rounds in the round. I'm going to create a little bit more fabric before I switch to my nine inch circulars, which I have in my bag all ready to go. These are Chow Goos, by the way. And they're 2.25 millimeter or US, I think that's one. I'm, I'm, it's so funny, I'm used to using US sizes for any needles larger than a sock needle. Um, but for sock needles, I do millimeters. It's really interesting. So let me cross my eyes and try to see what this is. US one, that's what I thought. Just wanted to make sure. So US size one and just absolutely adoring it. I'm using a modified kind of pattern uh, recipe for CC's Vanilla Cappuccino Socks, I think it is. I'll link it down below. Um, and you do Judy's Magic Cast On. Um, and then I'll leave a link to one of my favorite tutorials if you'd like to see what that looks like. I kind of showed it a little bit last night too. And then um, I do increases uh, on one round. You do a make right, make one right, and make one left. And then you repeat it on the second needle. And then you do one regular stockinette round, knitting round, and then you do the increase round, etc., etc., until you reach your desired amount of stitches uh, for the sock. So for me, I'm doing 64 stitches. And then you turn it, you kind of do it it's kind of backwards because you knit on the back needle instead of the front needle when you're doing magic loop when you're doing the toe increases and then when you're ready to be just kind of in the round to do the foot you just sorry if you can hear that car out there but I love the sound because the windows open um, then you 
uh, switch it back kind of right side out. Uh, I've got my little tail I'll weave in at some point from my cast on. I love it. And this little stitch marker is a little pumpkin spice latte, which I thought was appropriate since this colorway is called Because Pumpkin Spice. This is by Sucre Sucre Miniatures. I think it was a Rhinebeck exclusive the one year that I was able to go to a Rhinebeck so far. I'll put a little close up so you can see it better right here. And I love it so much. It's got a little cherry on the top too. And like her stitch markers are amazing. They're absolutely stunning. So, so yeah, so we've got that, but I'm going to leave that uh, for later and work on my peacock shawl today. So hopefully I can join the second color when I'm on with all of my Patreon peeps. And you better believe I'll be going out for a walk before I head up to Sacramento. I'm ready. Nature, I need you. <laughs> when we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. feels so good to be out and about. I have my mask just in case somebody comes walking. There's some people down the way, so I'll put it back on, but oh, so good. And there's leaves on the ground. With you and I, the future is bright. my neighborhood it's gonna be sad that this is the perfect place for trick-or-treating and we're not gonna have traditional trick-or-treating this year but hopefully next year Shabby, I am so red, <laughs> but it is time for the roof. evening it is saturday night and i am winding down for the day and for this lovely trip home visiting family it has been wonderful my nephew is getting a bath and getting ready to go to bed my mom and i are gonna hang out for a little bit more and just reminisce about the last few days it was just a wonderful birthday got the best cake ever just I have a recipe link down below it was by good old downshiftology and made some yummy fish tacos tried for the first time making cassava flour tortillas which were so good you will definitely see me making those more here on the vlog and just enjoying a break from the smoke it did start to roll in a little bit again today but it's kind of out now and the air quality is still good and it's the same down where I live as well so that's good but it's just been so special. My nephew loves his playhouse. He, it's been a joy teaching him how to use a screwdriver because it's a 
build as you go. He can take the panels down and move the windows where he wants them. So he learned really well and got a ton of practice taking down all of the panels last night. <laughs> and then he's starting to learn how to tighten the screws now and put them back on. So he just loves, he even hugged it the other day. So, so funny. But I am going to go hang out with them a little bit more and call it an end to this vlog. I hope that you all are doing well and staying safe. And have a good week ahead. And I will see you next Sunday. Bye.